What do you suppose the chances are that this is another buffalo gem? And if we have a look, up in the distance there, it looks like it's just two buffalo. Two buffalo causing all this traffic congestion. People are starting to overtake them now though. The trouble is we need to get somebody like that guy in the minivan who doesn't want to overtake. You can sit here forever. People just enjoy the sensation of being stuck behind buffalo. It's not an experience that you're going to find in a big city. Stuck behind traffic, yeah, but not buffalo. Oh, there he goes, finally overtaking. Looks like the buffalo are crossing the street. This is what happens in the park. Everybody waits in line, and then when they get up to the buffalo, they think, well, it's my turn. I've waited so long. Let me slow down right next to them and see what pictures I can get. I saw somebody turning off into Firehole Lake Drive. I wonder if he thinks it'll be quicker. Go around Firehole Lake, come out the other side. And I know I've mentioned this in other videos, buffalo look dumb, there's two ways that they're not that stupid, they know that it's a lot easier to walk along the road than over the rocks or through the forest, and the other way incidentally is that we find that uh, in the summer months when it gets warmer at the lower elevations, the buffalo tend to migrate up to the higher elevations of the park where it's not quite as warm and then they come back down this way in the winter when it starts getting pretty darn cold up there oh, there they are For those of you who watch several of our videos, that there is Firehole Lake Drive, which amongst other things will take you to White Dome Geyser and Great Fountain Geyser, in addition to Firehole Lake itself. Now we can get going again.